Hello, everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled SAP Product Lifecycle Costing Design for Profitability. In this webinar, taking place on the early adoption launch date of SAP product lifecycle costing. You will discover how the solution supports you in your preliminary cost calculations in new product introduction and customer quotation processes and beyond. The webinar will conclude with a demonstration of the SAP solution. My name is Ralph Davis, Marketing Manager at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. LeverX is an SAP value-added reseller, an SAP services partner, and an associate member of the PLM Alliance. LeverX delivers strategic functional and technical services in the areas of SAP product lifecycle management, portfolio and project management, environmental health and safety, and other related solutions. LeverX offers SAP solutions including services for business process and strategic consulting, solution architecture development, implementation planning, execution and support, SAP development services, all of this through both on-site and remote delivery models. LeverX also partners with leading experts and consulting firms to provide a full range of consulting and implementation services for our customers. In the area of product lifecycle costing, which we are speaking to today, LeverX and Altavia have, a, have established a partnership. So let me introduce Julian Devot, Practice Director at Altavia Consulting. And Julian will briefly introduce Altavia Consulting to you. Well, thank you, Ralph. Um, Altavia Consulting is a uh, consulting company enabling organizations to drive meaningful change through clarity. So we are an SAP partner with expertise in uh, the finance and controlling modules, in particular the product costing and simulation area. We have developed best practices from the manufacturing side with the MESA International Organization, as well as the accounting and managerial um, side with the Resource Consumption Accounting um, Institute. On the next slide, um, we do offer services in strategic cost management in general, and in particular on the F SAP FICO, BIBW, and financials on HANA modules. Uh, and we have been working very closely with um, your next speaker, Ulf, and their development team at SAP over the SAP product lifecycle costing. You can find out more at uh, atavia.com. All right, so everybody should see my screen now. So thanks everyone uh, for joining this session today. Uh, it's really my pleasure to introduce this new solution into the uh, into the US market and beyond because I know that uh, Leverex is also supporting customers in other regions of the world. So yeah, it's really great uh, to finally get this uh, solution out of the door. Actually, it's already available since just a few days. Uh, we released it for uh, early adoption, so for ramp up um, and on the 25th of September, so that's last Friday. So it's really great to uh, have this new kit in the PLM portfolio now available to our customers. What I will cover is uh, in this session is really to give you an introduction on, on the background of why we came up with this solution, uh, what kind of use cases are we tackling with it, and also then uh, drilling down into the key capabilities of the solution, showcasing that with a demo and closing with uh, where you can find also additional information and how you could get involved even if you're interested in uh, working with us. So where does this solution really uh, come from, right? I mean, uh, probably some of you have been uh, involved in uh, earlier exercises around product costing um, in your business um, and you know that many times when you look at 
doing cost estimates, uh, doing product costing in the early stages of the life cycle during the engineering phase, you really have a multitude of stakeholders involved and uh, today in many situations you have also a multitude of tools involved. Yeah? So this is just trying to depict that um, really you have different parties involved, right? You have manufacturing engineering, you have procurement, you have sales, you have um, controlling involved, you have a project lead typically for an engineering project and the product manager that cares about this product. All of these uh, are typically involved in um, uh, doing product costing exercises in the engineering phase, right? At the end, um, in some cases, there might also even be a sales involved because the, the you engineer a product to order, for example, um, in, a, in, an, in, a, in a industrial machinery and components kind of world or in a, you know, in a more sophisticated infrastructure project, etc. Many times what we have seen in the past is that customers stitch all sorts of sources of truth together to come up with a product cost estimate. It might be Excel spreadsheets, it might be access databases, homegrown uh, Oracle database applications, uh, whatever, right? It could, uh, it could be um, a, a bolt on to uh, ERP uh, or to an SAP PLM or best of breed PLM tool as well. So. Really, there hasn't been a good uh, a good way to really handle this um, this process and uh, this kind of um, estimate um, generation at the end of of a product cost. So we have been looking at this topic since many years. Obviously, there were different attempts to look at this. Um, there might be people t uh, still remembering uh, one nice acronym from the SAP portfolio called PDCE, which is Product Design Cost Estimate. This one is really uh, not no, pretty much no more supported by SAP and actually those customers that have implemented that um, are actually working with us to, uh, to come uh, to onboard to our solution here. What is our solution really covering at the end, right? So, as I said, right, in the, um, in the classic SAP world, right, looking at SAP ERP, typically what you can do when it, when it comes to product costing is really to cost your product to really come up with actual costs after start of production. So you have all of your master data set up already, which is depicted on the lower end of this picture, right? In this case, your product is mature, it's ready for production and you produce it, you really can calculate things very accurately in SAP ERP to do, uh, to do that. You have then typically involved uh, mature master data, you have bill of material data involved, you have the routing data, operations, activity rates related to that. Uh, prices of the components, etc. All of this has been taken into account uh, and on top of that you would use things like a costing sheet to um, to come up uh, with the related overhead and you know labor rates, etc. etc. to uh, to come up with the final cost. Um, in the early stages we don't have that right in ERP so many customers of ours have been struggling to really simulate things um, maybe taking some master data already from a predecessor product and looking at what a, what a future product might cost for them, taking some of these uh, existing master data sets into account. But really it was very painful um, to really do something at all, uh, to achieve something at all that's meaningful in ERP uh, because you would need to duplicate master data and all these kind of things while, while even not knowing if that master data will be valid at the end uh, during during the lifetime of your product, it might even you know get scrapped because you wouldn't use that supplier versus this supplier and these kind of things. So you really need to pl have a playground to to come up with your engineering estimates and um, ha have the, some liberty for all the different stakeholders on how to get the data into the equation. Okay, so that's why we said okay, we need to consider the preliminary cost estimate exercise in new product introduction and continuous improvement projects from engineering, driven typically from engineering, as well as uh, two other scenarios, right? One of them is the quotation costing here in blue, which is really uh, very near to, to the engineering um, scenario, but uh, typically in this case it's a custom facing um, exercise. You say the customer has asked for a quote and you uh, need to quote not only, uh, on, you need to come up not only uh, for, with a cost of one 
product or you know uh, one sellable item, but really multiple ones at the same time potentially, and uh, you really need to code that uh, as accurately and as fast as possible, taking um, all sorts quite a few assumptions because some of the parts that you actually will build built into this product will not even uh, yet be uh, sourced, uh, but you will have some price points from uh, from from the components that exist already and some others will need to be estimated uh, and put into the equation at the beginning and then at some point you would have supply negotiations going on etc and then you would uh, refine your pr price point for that component as an example and uh, come up with a more accurate estimate so we really iterate towards the target uh, cost um, and uh, at, on top of that you look at things like what would be your margin, etc? What what could you really? Uh, what would be the result at the end? Uh, your earnings, uh, your profit, if you take uh, certain assumptions. So this is uh, where we talk about quotation costing. Um, 